Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, when we left off last time, we just realized that we didn't really need to haul two loads of wood from a different map because we have a logging station straight smack dab in the middle here. But we are carrying it anyway for the moment, so I'm going to be readjusting our course here a bit. We're going to be delivering them to this closest uh, thing here. Then we're going to be heading back. Checking out this watchtower and if memory serves, uh, if we're going to be canceling this route here, we have uh, a truck here. Yeah, there we go. We have a truck here to uh, rescue and deliver, I think, to the logging station itself. I don't know. For the moment, let's just uh, enjoy this morning light in the game. And let's head out. Uh, fuel is a concern, but given that we don't have to go straight right now, you know, straight for the um, logging camp, we can totally afford to take a detour to uh, refuel at one of the containers, fuel carriers in the middle of the map. Again, it's just really silly that uh, I had to drag this uh, trailer from an entire different, entirely different map. However, on the bright side, uh, it is an actual trailer which uh, I'll probably be needing to use for other things and it's, it's going to be a good thing to have it uh, deployed in the map somewhere. a lot of uh, two log hauls and it may save us from actually having to return with an empty trailer back to the logging station at, at least once or twice. <laughs> I just uh, turned around that sign. Getting lost is bad enough, but getting lost in this muck because some sh uh, some dude just uh, some schmuck just uh, turned around the sign and put like I know logging camp in the middle of the swamp. That's really bad. Anyways, let's get up here. Let's deliver this. Another area that looks like it might produce oil. We want to do some testing, but we're gonna need you guessed it another bridge to get our equipment there. Can we, can we count on you? Yes, you can. Oh, this is not where. Oh, crap. This is not where I should be delivering this, is that? Okay, so it's corporate expansion, right? Oh, yes, yeah, so we just have to go ever so slightly more up the road here. To the left or the right? To the left. You no, know, we found another site that might produce uh, oil. I mean, you already have a tilted oil rig there. What do you think they mined there? Swamp water? deliver this cool that's an XP you're the man the bridge is solid and we struck oil the boss asked me to let you know that he very much appreciates your assistance and he won't forget it that sounds great maybe he can hook me up with some new trucks that'd be swill swine swill 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 <laughs> that moment when you're looking for a word and you find another one in your head which is almost the same but not really Okay, uh, there's nothing here that I can see that would be interest me enough to actually head down to the to the island. So let's uh, actually head back. I'm still gonna haul this trailer around a bit. I'm not sure we're gonna be needing it here, so I'll just leave it around. Maybe maybe here when I'm when I actually start picking up the, um, the truck for the quest. To be fair, I don't really like the 
these trailers because they're very hard to turn around. Uh, semi trailers are a lot more uh, reliable, and I don't know, maybe it's just my previous uh, Euro Truck Simulator. experience that stalking but um, I like semi trailers more than I like uh, straight up trailers wow this tiny little patch of mud making me, s giving me so much trouble there we go it's it's really interesting how on this map I mean we're used to mud being just you know little clumps and you can actually see where the limitation for the mud kind of stops but in this map specifically uh, if you go just I don't know five meters off the beaten path where you should not be you know the game just goes like nope there's mud here you, you're not going through it's not quite an invisible wall you know because you can power it power through with like stronger trucks and better tires and stuff like that but still living in order to actually ooh, turned off uh, sorry um, delivered the uh, load so it's through here right yeah this uh, kind of bugged there but it's okay if we're going to be going by the service trailer we left behind earlier to refuel but yeah something that uh, is pressing you know what was that one two three four five six Oh yeah, correct. Uh, we had one of these things that we're supposed to just reach th uh, these points and that's it. Oh, oh, it's a fuel tanker here? Oh yeah, that's a fuel tanker there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's be smart about this. Okay, first and foremost. Uh, let's drop this here. I don't have any specific spot where I want to leave it. And I'm pretty sure it cannot handle... Uh, a parking brake on an incline, so we're just gonna drop it down here. Okay, not falling down the muck or anything. Great. Um, hmm... So many things. Let's, let's do this. Let's uh, go through here. Unlocking that uh, point for that quest. Uh, get the watchtower. Head down. Go back. We fuel at the little fueling truck just to get the 30 XP for discovering it. And they say you need the scout. You don't need the scout, you just need the fleet star. Okay, there we go. I mean, I've done some terrible, terrible things with this uh, fleet star, just scouting wise. Okay, am I missing the road here? Or is the road just uh, a very generous description of what this is?
Simul in the Mountains quest. Which... Oh, this has one steel beam and it's a semi-trailer, cool. Okay, let's uh, redo our plans just for... Oh, we have a... F <sighs> so many things to do, so little time. Let's set up, get this upgrade, <laughs> then let's return, unlock this trailer, refuel, come back down, I'll get this quest and whatever, return, come all the way back. <coughs> Okay, and then come back here, see that, uh, yeah, sure, let's do it, we are double backing quite a fair bit here, but, Start making like one of those nautical uh, captain's log ledgers. Like day 53, uh, the fleet star is growling, uh, the seas are murky and full of mud. We have run out of rations, we have started eating the pine trees. Uh, okay, so there is a path which we missed. here this is quite a tip country okay good enough First. Well, I don't like this one bit. Let's just power through. Uh, engageable all wheel drive for which truck? Again, the, some white western star 4964, which we have not unlocked yet. I think this is one of the trucks which are just available on the map somewhere. But it hasn't been something we uh, found just yet. I'm not even certain on which map it is. Probably on uh, Island Lake or Drummond, but I don't know. Yeah, let's not risk that in any way, shape or form. through here we don't really have any space to turn this is how you make a real wheel drive a front wheel drive car so I think I'm getting better at this game guys <laughs> Western front. Let's uh, head that trailer which was slightly under us and then let's uh, refuel. I mean, who, who 
who even puts it up here and why? Is this like some secret refueling spot for for people? Refuel, fuel up. There we go, perfect. Let's head back. SnowRunner had the box, it should have like a quote on it going like, you know, from one of those famous uh, review gaming magazines, like, Snow uh, SnowRunner made me uh, reverse better in my car in real life. Still about 200, 700 XP. Wow, 700 XP from level. Is that level 11? Yeah, level 11. Let's unlock this uh, cyborg semi trailer, which already has some steel on it. Let's uh, get this. All TV tower up on the ridge is on the blink again. I hate to ask, but could get up there and see if it can be repaired. Oh, like 40 XP, almost nothing. And I have a very vague feeling that that TV tower is exactly that one, right? Sure. Um... Okay. Uh, sure. Also, it's weird. We have like signal the mountain and fallen antenna. Fallen fallen antenna. What's fallen antenna? We should be delivering something here. Is that part of the I have absolutely zero idea what fallen antenna is. Is it from another map? Global map? No, not that only. Drummond? No. Nope. For sure, nope. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what Fallen Antenna is and what how it relates to anything. But uh, we're doing something else. Uh, we were doing. We were activating. Uh, what was it? There we go, start tracking. Actually, given the, what we're going to be doing right now, let's cancel all of this. Let's head through here. Let's get up this whatever mountain path that we have. Head all the way up. Unlock this point. Then continue down. Get this point unlocked which would help us unlock this point and this point, right? Then we can swing back and refuel. And, you know, by that point, we'll just see what we're going to be doing. Because we have just ended up getting distracted after being distracted and... Um, what just happened there? I swear I didn't touch it. Okay. Uh, that would probably need to be... <sighs> you know what? Sure. I was just gonna see how we don't get distracted, but... Uh, for utter complete sure, given the fact that I do have a semi... Uh, a, sorry, a low saddle on this, might as well... I want to pack this, because if I don't pack it, whenever I reload the map, it's quite entirely possible that that will just drop through uh, the model, and we end up having to bring a crane up here, where we to ever need to... ...use these um, metal pipes. 
What's the problem? This is too far away, it's literally mounted under it. Okay, there we go, finally. Let's pack that cargo, let's detach the trailer. Probably in a worse state than we left it in, than we found it in, sorry. But at the very least, uh, that cargo is not falling through the trailer on a map reload. That was 20 liters of fuel I'm never gonna see again, but it is what it is. And yes, I know, I know, I know, I said I'm gonna be doing some more story important task but you know what i'm here i'm literally here it's uh almost a shame not to do them i mean i have the the truck capacity i have the fuel i have the i'm not you know loaded with uh, any cargo that you know it's gonna suck to leave Is this a path? Is this an honest to god path? Yeah, apparently it should be. Yeah, I really think the game is overestimating the definition of what a path is. And I'm entirely sure these are meant to be scout paths, not... Uh... Hello, my name is Fleetstar Paths. Whoa, 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 whoa. Panic winching. There's that saying, I don't know if I think it's military. Uh, fast, uh, fast, slow, and slow is fast, something like that. Because, you know, the mistakes you make while going fast actually make you slower than were you to actually do them properly the first time, carefully. like me finding a little tiny stretch of hardly beaten uh, track while uh, mountain biking, right? You're like, hey, this is a path. No, it kind of isn't. It's like some road, some like, I don't know, some literally, not even a road, like uh, some uh, stretch of land. That's the correct definition, some stretch of land that 
some people are using. Two people. didn't mark this down too much. Let's, let's do that. so long until I noticed that the little shaky yellow, not yellow, but green things, which I actually eventually turned to yellow and then to red are in tanks, are actually the fuel indicators. It's such a weird way to show that. It doesn't need to be that visible or in your face, to be honest. Maybe it should just blink sometimes let you know the current status but doesn't really need to be that in your face um, what I would actually kind of want would be some direction indicator for my wheels sometimes just because it's hard to see where they're pointing and they don't have uh, auto centering like instant auto snap I mean centering so that's more important for me to actually see on a regular basis you really saved our hide. If you hadn't come along, we'd either be dead or unemployed by now. We're seriously in your debt, brother. Not exactly sure why I did this for you. I mean, what exactly I did for you, but it is what it is, right? Actually, you have enough fuel. Uh, let's not waste uh, the time. Uh, let's do this. Let's come back down the road. Get up to the tower. And we can refuel on our way back. I have no idea how that happened, but it happened. Probably because that uh, tree trunk those objects are like so utterly unpredictable. They have like a bit of lag to them, I mean. You hit them and it's just maybe 200 milliseconds later that you actually get the damage indicator and everything. need to use all wheel drive in those sections, I just need to lower the gear. Because it keeps getting you know stuck at like 4 to 5, 5 to 5, and of course it's spinning out in the mud. And uh, the game doesn't shift you down just soon enough. Oh, we're already here. 
Yep, that's the tower, right? And yep, it's borderline scrap at this point. Should have replaced the should have replaced the old thing long ago, but I guess we have to make do with what we have. Okay, uh, I'm not sure you can replace this on your own, old man, but okay. <laughs> okay, is there anything? Um, oh, task, foul antenna, so we can't afford to fix, our, fix the TV tower, so we've got to fix it ourselves. I'll walk you through it, but first we need to grab some parts and get them to the tower. Okay, so this is a separate quest that unlocked. Right. Right, 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 right. Deliver to fallen antenna cargo container. Right, so that's the cargo container which is here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. And we probably need a crane to grab it and deliver it here. But that is not something that we are going to be doing. What we are going to be doing is... Uh, coming back down. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can cross here so we save a bit of time. And drop down. Come through here, refuel, and I think that would be a good stopping point for today. As we tip over now because I'm really really silly. You know it's like Spider-Man. You, you, after a while you get that little tingling feeling that hmm stuff isn't good. <laughs> I smell impe uh, impeding bullshit happening. Yeah, even after running so much of, um, of Lake Island and uh, Island Lake and Drummond Island, I still feel that uh, Smithsville Dam is really, really tough on you. With all the mountainous um, area. Yeah, that's what I mean. I just needed uh, to switch down to a lower gear and really need to turn on all wheel drive. Exactly at the path. Actually, by this point, I think I kind of figured out that the game's uh, day-night cycle is about 30 minutes. The minute we never start straight up in the morning, we kind of start just a bit over the morning, I guess. And by the time we actually turn to we reach about 30 minutes or something in the episode. It it's just about evening, closing down on uh, on the night. So I think what the day night cycle is like 45 minutes. Full day night cycle. No, oh, actually should be an hour, right? Yeah, because morning to well, dawn to dusk. Yeah, that's half. So it should be about an hour. Maybe it would be nice to have some um, fuel cost for uh, turning over the day. You know, uh, skipping time just because um, you'd be, you know, keep the heater on or something. Just to give you something to ponder on whether you want to a section during the day or the night instead of just being a switch with no cost. In any case, let's move these there. Let's refuel this. 100 out of 900 fuel. I mean, there's definitely a pressure until you, you know, kind of dry up all of these uh, trailers and fuel reserves that's definitely an issue
in any way, shape or form. I think that's a good stopping point for the day. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the series, like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one where we will probably be heading through here and getting that car out of the um, out of the muck here shouldn't be that big of a deal it's not too far in we definitely have the winching capability and then it's relatively easy to drag it here but anyway that's next episode uh, again thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one